Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Jenkins users encounter. How can you access custom environment variables in a Jelly template? This is a crucial topic for anyone looking to enhance their Jenkins pipeline with dynamic data. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. In this video, we'll learn how to access custom environment variables in a Jelly template within a Jenkins pipeline. First, let's look at the Jenkins file where we define our environment variable. Here we set my var to my variable. Next, we need to access this variable in our Jelly template. We use the build.getEnvironment listener method to retrieve the environment variables. Finally, we display the variable in an HTML table. This is where we can see the value of my var rendered in the email body. If you're still having trouble accessing your custom variable, ensure that the variable is correctly set in the Jenkins pipeline and that you're using the right methods to retrieve it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access custom environment variables in a Jelly template, you can use a specific code snippet. First, set a variable using the JSET tag to retrieve the overridden environment. Then, you can display that variable in your template. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.